G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin and I'm an American living in beautiful Sydney, Australia. So as some of you guys have noticed when I do a lot of my regular filming, I have a, actually two now Holden badges behind me. One is considerably smaller than the other, but Holden is an icon here in Australia. Sadly, Holden is no longer producing cars, but they produced cars here in Australia for decades and they even made cars here in Australia for decades. It's very, very sad to see such an iconic company go to the wayside, but over the years Holden has given us quite a few awesome classic car ads. So I barely remember the ads from the 90s, I mostly remember ads in the states from the 2000s and 2010s. So we are going to look at some very retro, some very old school ads from the 70s and 80s. So let's take a look at some old Holden ads. Grab a Bicky, grab a cuppa, and let's get right into this video. Also this time I do actually have a Bicky. Those red velvet cookies from Kohl's are so good, but they're so dangerous. So here from Australian ads we have Holden cars. Football, meat pies, kangaroo, Australian ads, 1970s. So let's give this video a like. What's your favorite sport? Football, snack, pies, animal, kangaroo. And what's your favorite car, Australia? Holden! Let me see, that's football, meat pies, kangaroos, and Holden cars, huh? Right! Well, you sure sound like Australia to me. We are! Well, then you better tell me again, because I just might forget. We love football, meat pies, kangaroos, and Holden cars. They did not do a jingle for holding cars, oh my god. Oh, that's so... Oh, that's one of the things I love about old ads is they were doing jingles like this and cute, funny little things. I... Oh, they did not do a jingle for holding cars in the 70s. Okay, okay. I post myself to stop laughing. That's football, meat pies, kangaroos, and Holden cars. Why did they have a really overweight person riding a horse right there? Like, hold on, let's just go back for a second. Football, meat pies. Why? Why is that there? Why is that necessary? Well, you have a pretty overweight person riding a horse. Why is that in a Holden ad? Why is that? No. Just no. Kangaroos and Holden cars. Football and meat pies, kangaroos and Holden cars. I think you better tell me again. We love football, meat pies, kangaroos and Holden cars. In case you're wondering, this commercial is brought to you by football, meat pies, kangaroos and Australia's own car. They go together. There is so much in that ad to unpack, you guys. Uh, so first of all, it's what a lot of people think when they think of Australia. You think of kangaroos, you think of koalas, it's in the opera house. I mean, unless you're a car person, not a lot of people are going to think of Holden. But if you're in Australia, you, you probably would think of Holden. But it's like a little montage of almost what it's like living in Australia, but also what tourists see in Australia with some really random Aussie things thrown in there, like an overweight person riding a horse. I can't get over that. I don't know why that was in there, why they thought that was necessary to include. I mean, would you really want to advertise an overweight person riding a horse in a car ad? But you gotta love the old cars like the 60s, like the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Those cars are beautiful for the most part. You obviously get a few ugly ones in the bunch. But a lot of these cars are just stunning. And they showed a lot of different cars in this ad too. Like you have your typical sedan riding around. You have a ute riding through the wilderness and rolling through a little stream, which is cute. You have what looks like their version maybe of the old like VW camper van type of thing. The old like VW vans from the 70s. And then of course Holden racing cars. The last year you will see a Holden racing car anywhere, which is a little bit sad. I didn't even know what Holden was up until I started dating Mark and now I feel really, really sad that Holden actually won't be in any races anymore. So here we have one from 1978. This is from the page Holden fan page and it's Holden VB Commodore TV commercials 1978. So let's give this video a like. It's not three and a half minutes long. That is long for advertisement. Maybe this is a couple ones put together for the Commodore. 
Commodore, a new hope. So advanced it'll challenge all your ideas about Australian cars. Commodore, the finest expression yet of Holden's radial tune suspension for superb road handling, confidence and suit. I mean, I know it's a car from the late 70s, but that thing, why does it look like a fish? I don't know why. Something about that car, it looks like a fish. Superb road handling, confidence and supreme safety in any driving situation. With power plants from 2.8 litres. New standards of ride comfort for the Australian car. A noticeably small turning circle for a car this size. Holden Commodore in three exciting models. I thought it was going to say three exciting colors. <laughs> so I'm not a car person to be honest. I can I can't even tell those cars apart. I I don't see the difference. They all just look like a regular Commodore to me. But that again, I'm not a car person. So to me, other than the color, they all do look the same anyway. At your Holden dealers now. Okay, so very old school, very 70s commercial. It looks like they have a couple more. What's the next Commodore commercial? Presenting Commodore SLE, the ultimate Commodore. Especially comforting in summer storms with air conditioning, power steering, automatic transmission, 4.2 liter engine, radial tune suspension, Power disc brakes all round, cast alloy wheels, spacious interior designed for driving comfort. Appointed in rich velour with exceptional rear passenger room. Oh, does anyone remember those like velour fabric seats from like the old school cars and how scratchy they could get? It felt like you were sitting on a carpet. I remember sitting in a few really older cars and they were just so uncomfortable. Stereo, FM, AM radio, and cassette player. Four. <laughs> cassette player. Oh my god, of course. I mean, it makes sense, but I forgot about cassette players. <laughs> but the only car I ever had was a 94 Pontiac Sunbird, and I still remember the cassette player. Yeah, I forgot about those. Four equipment. <laughs> Commodore SLE, a new kind of car for Australia, at your Holden dealer now. They really were like, okay, we've built this platform for one Commodore, we're going to use it for every Commodore this year. Let's make sure we get our money's worth out when we make these commercials. If you're looking for a new kind of driving excitement, combined with a new level of room and comfort, you Holden Commodore. This is a spacious driving environment for passenger and driver alike, with headroom and legroom to spare for five adults. If plenty of room is what you're looking for, Holden Commodore. It's the kind of car that could tempt anyone. did not <laughs> oh my god i miss old school ads like this you don't laugh like this anymore in a lot of them oh that's so bad but it's so funny <laughs> my son there's room for all to share this is it what the wagon buyer has always needed he has got room reliability dependability but we think the wagon buyer wanted even more <laughs> And this is it. Now there's a new kind of wagon. Holden Commodore wagon. Sleek, trim, compact outside. Of course, Commodore Genius gives it the largest rear carrying space of any Holden wagon. But there's more. With radial tune suspension, it's a revelation in wagon handling. This a revelation in wagon handling? Oh my God, it's a station wagon. <laughs> 
Why are they trying to make a station wagon sound cool? You can't. It's it's a station wagon. We know what it is. It's not. It's never going to be cool. Station wagons were never cool. Oh my god. Like the old school family car before minivans and SUVs were the family car. Wagon has full Commodore equipment at hand and rides comfortably. Commodore smooth and quiet. All because this wagon is more than a wagon. It's a Commodore. Commodore and Commodore SL Wagon are at your Holden dealers now. Oh God, so that is it for these Commodore ads. My God, they are good. Uh, I love old school ads. I, I miss some of them. Has anybody else seen the show Man Man? I was obsessed with that. I think I've seen the entire show three times at least. I love that show. This reminds me a lot of that show too, the sort of advertising that they did. I think like the good old school ads and obviously we're not gonna see any more Holden Commodore ads, which is actually quite sad. If you guys have any old school ads you guys want me to check out to react to, pop over to my Discord server and it's in the description. Pop over there and feel free to send me the links that way. I don't check links that are in my comments, you guys. If you want to send me links, pop over to Discord and I will check them out over there. Somebody over there actually sent me the perfect one for Australia Day, so expect that one coming up in January next year. But that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button down below because it really, really does help me and help support this channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.